Hi guys, it is a spectacularly gorgeous day here in the end times. It is Tuesday, June 1st, 2021. Tuesday, June 1st, 2021 here at Bugs in a Jar Farm. And uh, uh, we are standing outside of the USS Maggie May. If anybody wants to rent the USS Maggie May, the coolest little camper on the planet. Uh... Well, come on and get your coffee and come out. We're going to hear a tale of passion. I do want to thank uh, Annie L. Annie L. is coming to stay in the USS Maggie Mae for a week in September. And we really appreciate that. And I do appreciate Brother Jeremy making a, uh, a reservation to stay in the Maggie Mae. And guys, just real quick, one more time, if anybody can be so kind is to go on to hipcamp.com and look at uh, either Bugs in a Jar Farm Hip Camp or the USS Maggie May uh, camper rental. And just what I'm asking is just to please reserve a night. Uh, then after you supposedly spend the night here, you write a review and uh, you write a review and I will rebate your money. I have got to get some positive reviews, but we're not here to talk about Bugs in a Jar Farm or the USS Maggie Mae. What we're here to talk about is passion. We have Brother Alistair is going to tell us about passion for a woman and the loss and the the agony of defeat, and uh, anyway, the, the Rob will just have to watch the video. I don't know where brother Rob is. Okay, Alistair, now, right out, uh, I don't know whether this is ironic or not, right outside the USS Maggie Mae is a, uh, is a tombstone, a tombstone with the, with the epitaph, pain, is a gift from God, from the Book of Pain. Is that Book yep. Zero, Chapter 22? Yep. The Book of Pain. Okay, uh, we're going to let Brother Alistair, uh, so many people want to know what this tombstone is be behind my camper. So give us the story. Well, Tell us what the, the characters and what this means here. Well, uh, pain is gift from God. Pain zero twenty two. Uh, pain zero twenty two. That's a. That is from Mrs. Payne's video. Mrs. Payne being the uh, the, the, the term nom de plume. The, yeah. the name uh, that Kelly Ann Cosgrove took for herself. Uh, her stage name. And Kelly spent uh, a long time in pain. In fact, she said she was married to pain, thus the name Mrs. Pain. You, you, when you say pain, you mean literal, physical pain. You're not just talking the normal, emotional, crushing pain that some of us are in. Right. Yeah. Uh, it, it's a Lyme disease, uh, oh, no. brain tumor, eventually... Uh, Arachnoiditis, um, fibromyalgia nowadays, things like that. Um, it, it, when she came up with this this name, Mrs. Payne, it wasn't as bad. Then she decided uh, not to use that name because it wasn't funny anymore. But it was a good stage name for a while. Uh, and one of her, one of her, uh, you call it a rat if you want. Uh, her form of a rant, she said, pain is a gift from God. In a, in a way, it was talking about herself, she is a gift from God. But um, another interpretation is that uh, it helps you learn what is important in life. Uh, now, why is this, uh, and my name on this tombstone? Well, let's say, Kelly and I, 
we dated for a year. One year. One what year. age were you? Uh, that was 2011 to 2012. So, I'm 24. 24 years old. 24 years old. Yep. And you had found your soulmate, your twin flame. Would you consider her you, as mm. you thought you had found your twin flame to spend the rest of your life? Yeah, that, that's accurate. Yep. And it lasted one year. One year, yep. Um, and she made the decision to end the relationship, or you did? She did, in fact. She decided... Rather than have me take care of her indefinitely, being in pain all the time, she would live with her parents and they would take care of her indefinitely for now. Uh, of course, I mean, eventually... I as as a 24-year-old man, were you ready to commit your life to taking on the responsibility of taking care of a 24-year-old suffering from this pain? Were you ready to make that commitment as a 24-year-old man? You know, if you ask me at the time, of course. But in hindsight, I do remember while we were dating, I was training to um, be one of the astronauts going to Mars. And <laughs> <laughs> that may, may have been uh, related to something. Uh, this will be uh, another story <laughs> for another day. Right. But, uh, yeah. So. so she, the the that is the reason she used to break off the relationship. Yeah, one day she said, uh, she said she had to move back in with her parents, and I th I had to work for two or three days. First day, most of her stuff was gone, was packed up. Second day, even more. The third day, her dad came and picked her up. And uh, she's so sweet that all of the empty space that her stuff was in, she spread my stuff out into that. Very nice. So give us the, now that the battery light is blinking here. Uh, so what's the story of the tombstone? Uh, how did it go from that sad story to this tombstone? Well. Um, I had an art class where I could do anything I wanted, and I was, uh, dealing with some time travel, some, uh, some healing, I had a lot of stuff inside of me, emotions to deal with, and, uh, it took the form of this tombstone and me being buried alive for a night underneath that as my final project, and my classmates arrived in the morning, one of them I told just uh, be prepared to dig. Another one I said, bring everybody into the woods. And uh, they exhumed me from my own grave that morning. So uh, how did you, you bury yourself or uh, someone? The, the, Rebecca from Mexico came up. Uh, that's another story. Right? That's another story. That sounds yeah. like, yeah. She helped bury me that that's, night. Uh, Rebecca from Mexico buried you under that. So, how did you get the idea for the tombstone? I figured I needed one eventually. So. So this is your birth date, 7 11 86. Yep. And that's her birth date, 12 6 87? Correct. Uh, and there, and, and so you still share the tombstone. Now, didn't, I mean, there's some story. So, how much does this tombstone weigh? Uh, a couple hundred pounds, I think. Now, wasn't there some so. story that you carried this tombstone around as kind of a, a, a what, a, a penance, a... I, I had it in a, an art show or at a venue in Albany, and honestly, I didn't want to rent a, a U-Haul just for a tombstone, so I decided to build a small wheeled platform and walk from Clifton Park to Albany, and just carry it back on that tombstone, but I, I chained you mean on myself the cart. to the cart, the wheeled platform, and uh, threw that on it, and I walked 14 hours 
by the time I got back. It's in the Times Union if you're interested. Google it. And that's uh, the synopsis there. And that's the story of a pain is a gift from God. Uh, so you have a new twin flame and soulmate that you met on Bumble, is this correct? Uh, this is correct. All right, yeah. so uh, you recommend internet dating for for doomers? Yeah. Yeah. So. yeah. Is she a doomer chick? In training, and yeah, doomer chick in training. We're, we're working on it. You're working on it. Yeah. She's coming around yeah. to being a doomer chick. Well, all right. Let's wish Alistair uh, better luck. Better luck with his yeah. new soulmate twin flame doomer chick. And uh, I told this young man he had to get the. Uh, get the tombstone from back behind the USS Maggie Mae, but at this point, you can leave it right the fuck here, brother. It doesn't matter to me anymore. The other side of it. Yeah, yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah we're gonna, we might get another, uh, uh, we might have another, uh, another message. Uh, but I told you I was sick was is already taken, man. <laughs> Which <laughs> you know, once uh, once I told you I was sick uh, was was taken, which is the single greatest epitaph in the history of humanity. Uh, until I think of a better one. Uh, it wasn't you, it was me. So. All right. Thank you for that touching tale. We are now going to let the Velcro weed take over the pain. So she had all that stuff? Oh my gosh.